So what we are going to do next is to filter the reads. So these files will be our inputs. We are going to use FastP. So if you want to read more about the FastP tool, you can visit the WordPress GitHub page. Let's go and take a look. This is the page and I'll leave the link to this page in the description box. So when you scroll down, you have some information here which will be very helpful. So it does lots of activities. Okay. It's it's comprehensive. That's what I'll say. So you can install using Bioconda before you done that. We also have example commands that you can use. So it can be used to trim adapters. It can also be used for quality filtering. You can use it to filter based on lengths. There are uh, lots of um, activities here that you can do, okay, using fast P. So I wouldn't go into details. I just wanted to show you. So let's go to one of my GitHub reports. I mean, we are using the method dynamics um, repo. So I've prepared a script that we can use to filter the reads. So the script is here, this one, filter underscore reads. So it has the first P commands that we will use. So let's open it and then look at what we have. So I have that here. So I have this command to create a directory and I also have the first P commands here. Okay, and I also have this one here, this, um, those lines that begin with hash. So these are comments telling you what each of these um, flux or options mean. So that's what we are. So I'm going to copy the commands here from here up to this one. I'll copy them. And by the way, before I copy, let me say that the options here, I, I selected them because that was what was used in this Galaxy tutorial. So if you take a look at the filter sequences section, you have the options here. So I try to reproduce what has been given here. So just take note of that. So let's go back. So let's copy our, our commands here, and then we will go and then paste them in a script that will generate. Alternatively, you can download the script itself, but I just thought I would do it this way so that um, I'll use that to explain some of the codes here. Okay, so let's go back to the terminal. So on the terminal, I will create a script. So I'll say nano data reads.sh. And then I'm going to paste the commands there. These are the commands. I think I omitted this one here. Let me add it here, the shebang line. Okay, so I'll exit and save the changes. So I am now I am now going to add execution right. So I'll say ch mode plus x. Then I'll call the file name, which is filter reads. I can do an ls to check the file. It's here. Okay, so now I am going to execute the scripts. So I'll say dot slash filter reads and then I'll execute it. Okay, so FastP has also done its work. So let's take a look at the output. So let's do an ls and we'll find another directory called filtered reads. So let's ls into it. And we are going to find our filtered files or filtered sequences. So you notice I also have this one dot filt. Okay, so it indicates that uh, these ones have been filtered. So that's how we do it.